So what we have done was we used the, we put our glitter down and then waited to dry and then we went over it again with glue to make sure it don't smudge and you know how you move it around and everything and the glitter start falling all over the place. But this, once you put it down, let it dry and then you put glue on top of it and then let it dry. It won't shed or anything anymore. So, and I use this brush here to wipe stuff down. You could get it from the Dollar Tree. Clean out your table because glitter gets everywhere. I hate working with glitter. Glitter is the so messy, right? <laughs> and what I did here was use some uh, bling bling that got uh, skulls for the Halloween. And I believe I bought that from Hobby Lobby a long time ago. And now the next step, I'm going to put my image in here. I'm not for sure do I want to add leave these eyeballs the way it is or put these beads here. Uh, we will see at the end. I might leave it like that, but I'm not sure. Might want it popped out the 3D part. Add some eyeballs. Or maybe put some here on each end. Not for sure right now, but I was thinking about using these. That's one thing about crafting. You never know. You just go with the flow. So me and my granddaughter is having a good time. So let's get started on the girl. just want to show you what I'm doing I just use some any kind of glue glue I um, put some glue on my eyelashes and put some glitter on it okay <laughs> gonna put some glue here just random them just put it anywhere you want to as long as you get it to lay down and be careful because this glue is hot now okay so we 
we're gonna simply do that and take an end of this just lay it down like I said be careful it's hot let the ghost is kind of come up like that let's go fast because the glue gun will dry fast now gonna take this off here put that there all right so now it's all the ghosts is in her hair get my pair of scissors and cut the SS off and then I'll show you the next step let me put some more glue right here and then I'll show you the next step <laughs> my granddaughter here this is gonna be her little wreath that she wanted to do she's gonna bring it to school so that's what we working on you saw her little hands earlier she's still here I'm just showing you a step to step as we go all right so next step we are going to Okay, so now we're going to glue her down. You can use glue to glue her down on the back here and then just glue her down. But I'm using sticky paper that I get from Amazon. Sticky too. Woo got my my ghost is sticking to the paper. All right, bye-bye ghost. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna stick her down. I think I'm gonna have her neck more to the bottom. Yeah, have her eyelash like it's coming out from there. It's just coming out. to be like she's floating into the tray you can move her over as you want to I just want it look like she's coming out of the tray it's up to you she's good to go just making sure all right and the next step I'm gonna be using here let me get this out the way some flowers with eyeballs on them and some leaves. 